Hello friends! Happy New Year! This is Claire. I'm Claire. And this is my friend Owl. Here back for baby story time. And we want to start with our hello song. I hope all the babies and grown-ups and everyone in between are doing well out there. You ready to sing some songs and listen to some stories and do some baby bounces? I hope so. We're ready here. Our hello song goes like this. We've got to get our hands out. We wave hello like this. We wave hello like this. With all our friends at story time, we wave hello like this. Yay, good job. We also clap hello. If you have wings like owl, you could clap, clap your wings hello if you want to. Clap your hands or your paws. All right, we clap hello like this or we flap hello like this. With all our friends at story time, we clap or flap hello like this. Yay! Woohoo! Next, I like to do open, shut them. So we need our hands out again, or our wings. It goes like this. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them. Creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. Nice job, everyone. Woohoo! Yay! Ready for our first story? This one's a good one for the grown-ups, too. It's a parody of our times, and it is called Good Morning Zoom. And the words are by Lindsay Reckler, and the pictures are by June Park. It's kind of like the classic story, Good Night Moon. It's Good Morning Zoom. And lots of us are doing lots of Zooms right now. Maybe it causes the zoomies. Maybe after this, we'll shake our zoomies out instead of shake our sillies out. Modern times call for shaking our zoomies out. In your living room, there was a computer and flowers in bloom and a picture of all the kids from your class in Zoom. And there was your mom and your dad and other parents and grownups working on an iPad and grandpas and nanas waving to cameras, and mom in her top she's been wearing nonstop, a pillow fort by the door, and a game on the floor. And out in the street you hear the sirens call, and you cheer, and your cheers for the heroes helping us all. Yay! Good morning, room. Good morning, Zoom. Good morning, friends you hope to see soon. Good morning, light, and a world not quite right. Good morning, Dad and his iPad. Good morning, Nanas. Good morning, cameras. Good morning to Mom. And her top she wears nonstop. Dad probably wears tops nonstop, too. <laughs> Good morning, forts, and games of all sorts. Good morning, grocery store and packages at your door. Morning silence fills the air. Goodbye to si sirens everywhere. Good morning, light. There's new hope in sight. Thank you, heroes, who will make things all right. Clap your hands and cheer loudly. Good morning, room. Good morning, Zoom. Good morning, world. We'll see you soon. Sure, I hope so. The end. <laughs> All right, should we, sh should we update the Raffi song? That's one of my favorites it's called Shake Your Sillies Out. And let's shake our Zoomies out. So if you feel like lifting baby up or if they're old enough to stand up, encourage them to stand up. You two, we're going to shake it all out. Release all of our whew, zoomies. Goes like this, okay? Gotta shake, shake, shake our zoomies out. Shake, shake, 
shake our zoomies out, shake, shake, shake our zoomies out and ziggle our zoomies away. Let's try it again. Gotta shake, shake, shake our zoomies out, shake, shake, shake our zoomies out, shake, shake, shake our zoomies out and ziggle our zoomies away. Should we do the real song now? Shake our sillies out? Let's try that one. Gotta shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away and wiggle your waggles away. Yay, nice job. All right. Warning, the next book might make you hungry. It's another new one that librarian Stephanie found and we thought it'd be great for baby story time. It's called Hot Pot Night and it's by Vincent Chen. And Hot Pot is a ch type style of Chinese soup that can include lots of different ingredients. There are some of them on the page. Hot Pot Night. What's for dinner? Let's have hot pot. I have the pot, you have the broth. She brought the meat and he grew the greens and vegetables. Hot pot, hot pot, let's have hot pot. Preparing. Splash goes the meat and splash go the greens. What a good smell. Yum. What a long wait. Hot pot, hot pot. Time for hot pot. Mmm, I can almost smell it through the book. Please pass the sauce. And save some meat. Save me some meat. I like how this book can be twirled around to show the whole table there. I want some more. There's more for all. Hot pot, hot pot, tasty hot pot. No more cabbage, no more tofu. Uh-oh, no more hot pot. What to do? This time your pot, next time my pot. Hot pot, hot pot, hits the right spot. <laughs> The end. And if you check this book out from the library, it has its very own hot pot recipe. And it's from the author's mom. And that's pretty cool. Has a little explanation of hot pot is a Chinese soup that literally brings people together and encourages them to share. Diners gather around a hot pot of the dining table, at the dining table, and add ingredients to the boiling broth. Common ingredients include meat, vegetables, tofu, noodles, mushrooms, fish, fish broths, fish balls, mm, and more. There are many different styles of hot pot across Asia, and each family seems to have its own recipe. So maybe you can make hot pot sometime when it, babies are old enough. <laughs> A few more years, probably, for most of you. All right, should we sing another song? Should we do, let's do our baby bounces. My favorite is Zooming to the Moon. So let's zoom to the moon. Owl will be my demo baby here. And we're going to zoom to the moon. So um, grab baby up if they're around, if you feel like it, or if you just want to watch, that's fine too. But zooming to the moon's pretty fun. It goes like this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. We've got to count down. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Let's go again. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll get there very soon. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off. Woohoo! Yay! All right, should we do maybe a food song to go with our hot pot book? Let's try maybe um, bagels in the toaster. Sometimes we're toast in the toaster, muffin crumpets in the toaster, 
English muffins in the toaster. It can be lots of things in the toaster. So today, let's try to be bagels in the toaster. And this song can be a bounce too. And we're gonna pop up. So it goes like this. I'm a little bagel and I am toasting up. I've gotta count down because then up I'll pop. Three, two, one, up I pop. Woohoo, should we try it again? I'm a little bagel toasting in the toaster. I'm gonna to change up the words and I'm getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up I pop. All right, should we try it with the right words this time? Let's try it the third time around. The, that last time was, what well, were the right words. The first time was just I was tricking you into <laughs> a new song. All right, let's try it one more time. I'm a little bagel in the toaster and I'm getting very hot. Tick, tock, tick, tock, up, I, pop. Yay. Now that we're all little toasty, cozy bagels, let's read another story. This one, like bagels, bagels are round. Um, tummies are round. What else is round? Let's find out in this book. It's called Round, and it's written by Jennifer Ward and illustrated by Lisa Cogden. Round, sunflowers are round. Up round, sun's round, down round. Nature all around is round. Coiled round, like a snake, Foil, foiled round. Nest is round. Vest round. Ooh, the eggs are kind of round or oval too. Cling round, like frogs on a lily pad. Ribbit, ribbit, ring round. Slow round. Stow round. Spotted round. Dotted round like a ladybug. Glowing round. Growing round like the moon. The crescent moon. Hard round. Turtle shell. Guard round like the turtle guarding. Silent round. Violent round, like thunder. Dripping round, raindrops. Slipping round. Home round, dome round. Sometimes new books, it's hard to turn the page without getting a paper cut. You should be very careful. Feed round, seed round. What a beautiful bluebird. Sweet round, like a cherry or berry. Treat round. Twirling round, can you twirl and swirl round like falling leaves? And flake round, like snowflakes. Make round, like snow people. Night round, the full moon. Sight round, like our eyes and the owl's eyes. Cuddle round, puddle round. Spinning round, the spider web and beginning round. The new buds are coming out soon. Nature all around is round, just like our solar system. The planets, the end. I liked that one. Can you give yourself a big round hug? Put your arms out round or the grubs can give you a hug too. Like put your arms out big and round and go, oh, big round hug. Good job, switch arms. Oh, a good, good squeeze. Okay, I have one more book to share that's also relevant to our times. And it's a new Sesame Street book that's called Heroes Wear Masks because babies don't wear masks, shouldn't wear masks, but anyone that's three and up should wear a mask when they go out. 
and Elmo and Big Bird are wearing masks. Elmo's super adventure. He's going to school. We'll read a little bit of this baby style. That's also a good tip for grown-ups at home. If you check out a book or have a book at home that's a little bit too long for your for your baby's attention span um, or your attention span <laughs> with baby, um, you can always, you don't have to read the whole book. You can skip words, you can summarize, you can just look at the pictures, you can make up your own story, your own rhymes. So don't let just the words in the book limit you. Um, you can adapt really kind of most picture books to, to be baby books too. And that's what I'll demonstrate here. Today, Elmo is going to school. Elmo is super excited and super nervous. So to feel better, he breathes, he puts his hand on his belly. Can you put your hand on your belly? Or you can put your hand on baby's belly. And then oh, grown-ups breathe too. Breathe in, so he takes a slow, deep breath through his nose and lets it out through his mouth. Ah, big, good, deep Elmo breath. Elmo feels better now. Time to get ready for school. First, Elmo washes his hands. Mommy says hand washing is super important. You can sing it to the ABC song. Rub-a-dub-dub. Elmo eats a healthy breakfast. And mom explains what might happen at school. Uh-oh, Elmo feels a little nervous again, so let's take a deep breath with Elmo. Sometimes if you have baby on your lap and they feel you deep breathing, that can make them feel relaxed too. So even you being relaxed helps your baby relax. So let's try it again like Elmo. Okay, put your hand on your belly and take a deep belly breath through your nose and out your mouth. <sighs> Slowly in through Elmo's nose. Do it again and out through Elmo's mouth and your mouth. I'm gonna think of Elmo now every time I deep breathe. That will help me calm down. Elmo and Mommy pack Elmo's backpack with everything he needs. Elmo has a face mask to wear at school whenever, and whenever he leaves home. Mommy says that wearing masks is important because it keeps everyone healthy. Elmo wants to be super ready for school. Let's try on your mask. It has to cover both your nose and your mouth. Elmo doesn't wear his mask when he does schoolwork at home, though. Mommy says Elmo only has to wear it when he goes out or is around others. Look, what color is Elmo's mask? It's yellow. It goes well with his red fur. It's got stars on it, too. That's a fun mask. Mommy says even Super Grover wears one. He wears a mask, too, because heroes wear masks to keep others safe. All of Elmo's friends will be wearing masks at school. Elmo wears a mask just like this. He wants to be a hero too. What does your mask look like? It's time to leave and walk to the bus, but Elmo's getting nervous again, so he takes a belly breath. Let's do it again, grown-ups and baby. Hand on your belly, take in a slow, deep breath through your nose, and out through your mouth. <sighs> Good job. Does that make you feel better? Makes me feel better. Elmo asks Mommy where his friends are. Mommy says Elmo, Elmo's friends will get to school differently. Some will ride the bus, some will walk, some will bike, some will go in cars. Remember, you can give Mommy a hug and a kiss, but you have to wave to your friends. Elmo practices best big wave to Mommy and waves goodbye. Bye, Mommy. Elmo's nervous about leaving home, but also excited to go to school. When the bus arrives at school, Elmo and his friends line up at a safe distance. Elmo remembers what his mommy told him to give big waves. There is Abby Kadabby in a mask and Big Bird in his mask. There's, a oh, that's not Abby Kadabby. This is Abby Kadabby. Ah, oh, silly Claire. That's Abby Kadabby. I'm not sure who that is. I thought it was Rosita at first, but. She is a Muppet friend I'm not aware of the name of, but she's cool too. She's wearing a neat skirt and her mask. Elmo's excited to be with his friends, even if they have to sit far apart. School is going to be so much fun. There's Telly. There's Rosita. Rosita's one of my favorites. Elmo has a very busy and very fun day at school. Elmo knows to wash his hands when he gets back inside from recess. 
after school, Elmo meets Mommy at the bus stop. Let's go home and wash your hands and you can tell me everything. Elmo had so much fun at school today. Bye, says Elmo. And then there's some tips for grown-ups in the back. Sesame Street's doing a really great job putting out new books about uh, new times and how to navigate them with, with little ones. All right, that brings us to the end of our story time. Thank you so much for joining us today. Can you give yourself a big, 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 big round of applause? Yay! Good job. Okay. Al's back to sing our goodbye song. Goes like this. It's a lot like our hello song. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this with all our friends at story time. We wave goodbye like this. And I like to end with a full body wave to kind of stretch out. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this with all our friends at story time. We wave goodbye like this. Yay. Thank you, friends. Be safe, stay well, and we'll see you next week.